Hello everyone, this is Irv Miller, aka Mr. Defense, and today I'm going to give you the basic breakdown on how to open and close an expandable friction lock baton. This here is an ASP foam handle electroless finish expandable baton. It's the one I carry on duty and the, but one of my favorite batons that I've ever had. Uh, what the difference is with these batons is some of them have push button releases, uh, but all your friction locks work on the same basic principles. Uh, whether it's an ASP, a Monadnock, Fury, Scorpion, Smith & Wesson baton makes no difference. They all work on the same basic principle, and that is that the retention clip that's held in this butt cap, when you flick your wrist, lets go of the baton, and the baton I just opened nice and easy so I could show it to you. The shafts slide out. They have tapers here. And what those tapers do is they, they cause one shaft to the next to go down and lock out on friction, hence a friction lock baton. When a baton is closed, uh, what keeps the baton in, as you can see, this isn't all the way in yet. That's all the way in. What keeps it in is the, uh, the retention cap that's uh, up inside the cap here. Every manufacturer does it their own way because of patents and so on. Uh, the harder you open a baton, the harder they are to close. And the reason that is, if you open a baton nice and solid like that, you want it to stay open. Because for some reason, if you need to use it, if you need to strike with it, you don't want this baton breaking loose. You need this thing to stay rigid until it performs its function. Now, the way you close a baton, uh, there's, there's two methods that I teach. Um, they're very, very basic. The most uh, used method, the oldest method out there, we just call it pound it to the ground. So you make a fist around it and you literally pound it to the ground. Now, sometimes it takes two or three tries. This is a seasoned baton that's uh, well broken in and uh, closes fairly easy. As you can see, the first time you ever close a baton, the tip gets messed up. It's just it's part of having a baton, a, a friction lock. Uh, open it again. I'm going to show you uh, a little easier way to close it. We call this the tap and turn. Now, with the tap and turn, you hold a baton around knee level, and what you do is you let gravity take its course. You let it tap. And as soon as it taps, you rotate it a quarter turn. So it's tap, turn, tap, turn, tap, tap, tap. And you'll hear the baton start to break loose. Once it breaks loose, you slide it, lock it in place, and that's how it's done.